uh, we will go ahead and start. So let me ask Johanna if there are any um, Zeek LT updates that you, that you want us to share with the community. Oh, you're muted, Johanna. Actually, okay, yes, sure. There actually have been a few things since we um, met the last time. The but I think the CLT spent time on our Seek Week. You probably all saw the Save the Date um, announcement. Seek Week is going to be from the 11th to the 14th of October in Austin, Texas. And um, yeah, generally we spent a bunch of time um, talking about um, uh, things there. Um, you can expect to see a call for presentations sometime within the next few weeks too. Um, the next thing that's going on is um, that um, you might remember that a while ago we had a, a poll out on the mailing list on, on Slack that asked people what their thoughts are about moving from um, using mailing lists to using discourse as a more modern alternative. And since all of the feedback that we got about that was really positive, we are going to go to, uh, move to everything to discourse and away from our mailing list. That's hopefully going to happen within the next few weeks. Apart from that, um, we talked a little bit about the upcoming Seek 5 release. If Robin comes, I think he might talk about that a little bit. And we also talked a little bit about the training event that I assume Fatima is going to tell us more about. And I think these are the main topics that um, the LT discussed in the last few meetings. Oh, one more thing. Um, we also discussed a little bit what's going on in the training um, group because um, there actually has is quite a bit of activity at the moment because there have been several high profile changes um, that have been merged into C. And um, if anyone here randomly might still be interested in, um, sorry, the testing group, because there have been a few high profile changes merged into Seek. And if anyone here randomly might be interested in helping testing Seek and has a version of Seek that is running and might be able to run a testing installation parallel to that, please let us know. We are still interested in finding people to help with that. And I think that was everything from the LT side. If anyone has yeah. questions, let me know, obviously. Are there any questions for Johanna? Okay, if not, then I'll just jump over and ask Robin if he wants to ch share any Zeek technical updates. Sure. And there was a perfect, perfect transition, uh, high profile changes. <laughs> Um, so I think that the largest uh, change that recently went into uh, Git Master was the, the ALM branch uh, in Broker that we merged. And um, that is um, a branch that had been cooking for a while and it's actually not changing much from a user visible perspective, but internally Broker gets that's quite an overhaul in terms of architecture. Um, it's also paving the way for um, adding a WebSocket interface. That, that's coming next and, and still for 5.0. Um, but in, in terms of what Johanna was saying, um, actually having people test this would be really uh, useful. So, um, and the bottom line is that indeed not much should be changing at all from a, from a user perspective. But if you see anything in current master that, that doesn't quite as work in particular in terms of cluster communication, um, it would be great to let us know about that. Um, what else has happened? So, so we are pretty close to merging SPICY into Zeek. So that is something uh, Benjamin has been working on quite a bit and like all the, the mechanics of making that happen, um, which is mostly integrating SPICY with the, with the Zeek build system and, and the packaging and, and all that stuff and making sure that all the, the, the zillions of ways we have to build Zeek and I don't know, shared and static versions and with stuff integrated and not um, all work. And I think we are getting pretty close to um, merging that in. So very soon, uh, Zeek will come with spicy builder. Um, what else? Um, the Christian's management framework is making progress. So that is the, the other large piece still in flight for 5.0. Um, more on that, I think, soon. And um, yeah, I think that's, that's pretty much it, but in, in like in larger terms, as, as usual, we have, oh, we, we did that since last time we did a security release. Um, so anybody who hasn't upgraded 
um, that would be a good time to do it. <laughs> also, uh, a buffer overflow essentially in the FTP parser, which um, shows two things, I would say. One is that actually some of the oldest code still in Zeek uh, still may have problems. <laughs> so this, this bug essentially has been in there for a long time. And, and second, that spicy is actually really helpful because in the future, hopefully, spicy parsers won't have similar issues. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Cool. Thanks, Robin. Are there any questions for Robin on the technical update side? Okay, if not, then I will um, go over the table and then I'll ask Richard if he has any updates that he wants to share on the Zeek documentation side with the community. Sure, hi everybody. Um, I'm pleased to see that people are listening to these on YouTube. Uh, we only get a few people in person, but we get uh, a much bigger amplification on people watching on YouTube, which is great. And uh, one uh, point to consider with YouTube is that we are not quite there. We, we, we still have to get about 1,300 more hours of views on our videos. But once we do that, uh, our YouTube videos will qualify for monetization which means that whatever, you know, it won't be that much obviously, but whatever small amount of money we could possibly make from YouTube monetization, we could use to contribute to some of the bills that the project has to pay, you know, things like where we host the website or Amazon storage or, or that sort of thing. Now, this isn't gonna make any big dent in our, our budget, I, I assume, but it would be kind of neat to think that we're putting that um, those YouTube videos to use defraying project costs. So go ahead and tune in, watch those videos on, on YouTube, you know, not just Zeek in action. We've got uh, all of the Zeek Week 2021 videos that are there and you know, there's lots of stuff there and I can see which ones people are watching. And there's a lot of good videos out there that haven't gotten a lot of attention yet. So please check that out. And uh, yeah, I guess that's that's about it uh, as far as sort of content goes right now. Oh, and if you, I guess if anyone is listening and you have ideas for a video you'd like to do, or even if it's audio, you know, and we can just we can do an audio version of something like that and post put it up. Um, just get in touch with me. I hang out in the Slack quite a bit. Um, so yeah, hope everybody's doing well. Perfect. Thanks, Richard, for sharing the uh, updates. Are there any questions for Richard? on what he shared so far. All right, if not, then I can actually give the updates on the training side. So we are excited to announce that we are going to have a one day um, event on 20th May, and that is the Zeek training event. And that will be similar to what we usually do during the Zeek weeks. And because of the high demand and a lot of people on the waiting list that we cannot accommodate during the Zeek week, we decided this year that we can at least uh, provide the training, the one day training uh, in the first half of the year. And then the same training, similar kind of training will be provided in the Zeek week as well to accommodate the um, demand from the people. So the training is going to happen on 20th May. It will be a one day event. And um, I think the blog post went out um, almost a month ago. Uh, and it has all the uh, details about how one can register for the training. And it's a free event and it will be again provided by the um, Zeek community. So the first half will be from 8 to 12, and that will be introduction to Zeek that Keith and I will be covering. And then after like one hour break from 1 to 4.30, there will be advanced scripting uh, training from Ashish. So um, yeah, if you haven't registered already, uh, please feel free to register. We have uh, more open slots this time. So we haven't uh, filled, the, filled the whole group yet. So um, yeah, and yeah, if you if you have any questions regarding the training and the material that we will be covering, the feel free to uh, email us on training at the .org. And that is the train, training mailing list that we keep an eye on for all the training questions. Uh, on the same uh, on the same note, we are still looking for the volunteers to help us during the training event. So if you would like to volunteer um, to help us during the training, like uh, if you want to be a TA or if you just want to uh, help attendees to um, join and what whatever questions they have during the training, please um, let us know and then we will be more than happy to have you as volunteer. Other than that, um, what else? Um, yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty much it about uh, from the Zeek training side. 
And as Johanna mentioned that for the testing group, we have uh, a lot of activity and main big changes that are going on right now in the Zeek main branch. So we would love to have volunteers for the training group as well, uh, for the testing group as well. If you would like to test out the um, master branch of Zeek, then and let us know what you, uh, if you find any kind of bug or issue, then that would be a great help on the testing group as well. So that's pretty much it from the training and testing group side. And again, if you guys have any, any questions, feel free to um, bug us on Slack uh, and we have mailing list as well. So uh, yeah, we are here to help and we are here to answer all the questions. So that was pretty much a wrap for this Z community call. And if you have any questions, just you can ask here or you know let us know in Slack. All right, so uh, if you guys do not have any questions for us in this panel, then hope you guys have a good day and then see you guys next month. All right. Thank you. Take care, guys. Bye.